Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Let's say that with a little more enthusiasm. Good afternoon. We're here for a very special occasion today. And so we want to uh, celebrate this special day of Terry's installation. I am Paul Sangri. I'm the Associate Conference Minister at the Vermont Conference, which is made up of over 100 churches throughout the state, which seek to support and encourage one another in our common ministries, and what a joy it is to be here today. So the Southwest Association of the Vermont Conference and the United Church of Christ greets you in the name of Jesus Christ, the head of the church, in heaven and on earth. So then, with endurance, let's also run the race. here today and for the power of your Holy Spirit in bringing Terry and Bonnie to this place. And we just ask for your power here today. In the name of Jesus, who taught us all to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Stand and sing our opening hymn, the mortal invisible God only wise. Chapter 61, verses 1 to 4, and verses 10 and 11. The Lord God's Spirit is upon me, because the Lord has appointed me and has sent me to bring good news to the poor, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim release 
for the captives and liberation for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and a day of vindication for our God. To all who mourn, to provide for God, Zion's mourners, to give them a crown in place of ashes, oil of joy in place of discouragement, and a mantle of praise in place of mourning. They shall be called oaks of righteousness, planted by the Lord to glorify himself. They will rebuild the ancient ruins. They will restore formerly deserted places. They will renew ruined cities, places deserted in generations past. I surely rejoice in the Lord. My heart is joyful because of my God, because he has clothed me with clothes of victory, wrapped me in a robe of righteousness, like a bridegroom in a priestly crown, like a bride adorned in jewelry. As the earth puts out its growth, and as a garden grows its seeds, so the Lord God will grow righteousness and praise before all nations. We are one. Would you join me in prayer, please? Generous God, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of all of our hearts give honor and thanksgiving to you as we celebrate the call of Terry Hanley as pastor and teacher of Grace Congregational Church, United Church of Christ and as we lift up the unique gifts Terry brings and that we, the members of Grace Church, offer to this ministry in this place at this time. Amen. Amen. Wow. Started off pretty exciting. Thank you. There are many words in this installation service that I love not the least of which is the final scripture listed at the beginning of your bulletin from 2 Timothy. I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God. Not printed in the bulletin, the passage goes on to say, the gift of God which is within you, a rich faith, handed down to you from your grandmother Lois, to your mother Eunice, and now to you. The message identifies that gift as the gift of ministry. And the list goes on to name multiple gifts. For this service, the passage could accurately read, A rich faith handed down from your grandmother's Mildred and Grace to your mother Jane and your father Charlie and now to you. I know that Terry's mother Jane and his father Charlie handed down a deep faith to the, each of their children. The gifts handed down to Terry have continued to serve him well. I searched the many versions of that Timothy scripture to learn what those gifts were named in the so many versions that we have available up to us today. Most all of them begin with power and love. And then you add self-control, self-discipline, sensible, sensibility, bold, and of sound mind. All important gifts for ministry and for supporting ministry. My many years of experience of Terry, both personal and vicarious, tells me he is gifted to some degree with all the gifts that I just mentioned that come from Paul's letter to Timothy. Being gifted by such a foundation, it should be of no surprise 
to learn that one day, while Terry was walking alone between classes in Burlington, Terry was visited by the Spirit of the Lord. She made his call clear. From Isaiah 61, Terry's chosen scripture for this service, God's Spirit is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the poor, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim release for the captives and liberation for prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and a day of vindication for our God, to comfort all who mourn. Now perhaps that visitation experience didn't happen exactly as I described, but the Holy Spirit got Terry's attention, and he's not strayed far from that call since that day. As a son and a brother, a student and a teacher, a husband and a father, a nurse and a pastor, the gift of God's Spirit and all the gifts that go with that call have guided Terry's eclectic life and brought him to this time at Grace Congregational Church, United Church of Christ. With Jesus as his guide, Terry, Terry's gifts equip him to guide our spiritual life, share the good news, lead us in worship, teach us ways to worship in prayer and Bible study, to initiate new ways of mutual ministry and personal spiritual practice, to work with the church community in support of the many ministries of Grace Church. But Terry can't answer this call alone. No one can. This is a partnership. We are one. This is a call to all of us. We're called to identify our gifts and use them to bring good news to the poor, bind up the brokenhearted, proclaim release of, of the captives and liberation for prisoners. We are called to continue to practice the gift of hospitality as we welcome the stranger, feed the hungry, clothe the naked, give drink to the thirsty, Listen to those who need an ear. Visit those who need a companion. We're called to work for housing for those who are unhoused. To brainstorm with others a resolution for a difficult situation. In other words, we need to pray. We are called to simply send out postcards or to make phone calls to chop vegetables, to cook for companions in homeless, or distance house, or a neighbor, to volunteer in a way that uses our gifts and fills a need both in ourselves and for others, and to pray, to pray, to pray always. In other words, we're called to be the church. As the UCC banner says, we are called to protect the environment, care for the poor, forgive often, reject racism, fight for the powerless, embrace diversity, love God, and enjoy this life. We are called to be the church. The need is great. Actually, the need is overwhelming. Terry is equipped to do his part. But no person can do it at all, do it all, and he needs our support. This call is to all of us. It is with great joy that we celebrate and bless the gift of the call of Terry Hanley as pastor and teacher at the Grace Congregational Church, United Church of Christ. And we are awakened to the Spirit's call to each of us 
to participate in this partnership with Terry, in the ministry of Grace Church and in the work of the church and the needs of our neighbors, both locally and globally. The spirit of the Lord is upon Terry Hamlin. There is no doubt about that in my mind. And I am convinced that the spirit of the Lord is upon us and we are called to respond. May each of us in our own way follow Terry's lead and answer God's call. Amen. Let us join together in singing hymn number 451 in the black hymnal, Be Now My Vision. but done in cooperation with the local church. Installation confirms and celebrates the covenantal relationship among the local church, its pastor and teacher, the United Church of Christ, and the wider church. Grace Congregation of the United Church of Christ, under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, is called the Reverend Terrell Max Hanley as its pastor and teacher and respectfully request that the Southwest Association install him in this ministry among us in accordance with the faith and order of the United Church of Christ. The Southwest Association has reviewed the request of Grace Congregational United Church of Christ. We have prayerfully engaged Terry. We confirm that he has been called by God for ministry in this place and declare that he has met all the necessary conditions for installation in this office. We are pleased to install him as your pastor and teacher. Reverend Terry Hanley, please rise and come forward. United Church of Christ as their pastor and teacher, as well as into covenant with us, who are the Southwest Association of the Vermont Conference of the United Church of Christ. I am with you, and I promise to serve this church faithfully, preaching and teaching the Word of God, administering the sacraments, and fulfilling the office of pastor according to the faith and order of the United Church of Christ. And now, Terry, I hear you have some questions. These are not in the bulletins, <laughs> but I think that we should ask some questions of my mom, Jane Hanley, and my spouse and partner and wife, Bonnie Hanley. Where are they? Ah, here we go. 
Will you put up with my sermonizing in the grocery store, in the car, and at family dinners? <laughs> Will you continue to put up with me trying to be the minister of your church and tell me when I'm being a nincompoop? <laughs> Will you go on with your Saturday nights as if I were dead? <laughs> Will you continue to share me with 400 of our closest friends? If so, please signify by raising one eyebrow <laughs> and saying, mm-hmm. We will with the help of God. <laughs> to God be the glory. To you be my utmost thanks. I love you both and happy and happy. Thank you. May I ask all members of Grace Congregational United Church of Christ who are able to please stand and affirm your covenant with Reverend Terry Campbell. Please follow along in your bulletin. We of the church ever since the beginnings of the church for a laying out of hands of a new pastor and to ask the power of the Spirit in their life. So I'm going to invite all the Southwest pastors to come on up and to surround Terry. And I'm going to invite all the members of Grace Church, both in the choir and the, and the pews, if you feel comfortable, just to put your hand out as a, uh, as a blessing and as you're putting your hand on Terry during this, uh, this prayer. So if you might come a little over to Terry, just so I can reach you. So let us all pray. Almighty God, you have heard the promises of your servants this day. Enable us to keep our vows and be steadfast in our good and faithful work. Bless Terry, to whom the care of this congregation is now committed. Pour out your Holy Spirit on the people of Grace Church, and all the churches of the Southwest Association. Then our mutual ministry may be blessed with diligence and courage, sound minds and passionate hearts, fervent energy and loving loyalty to Christ. Inspire us to awaken the apathetic, strengthen the faithful, comfort the afflicted and build up the church. In these challenging times, keep us steadfast in your love. And I just ask for the pouring of your spirit on terror that he would not be afraid, but that your love would surround him and he would leave with your power. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And let's join now in our final hymn, Glorious Things of You, Our Spirit.
is a uh, little song that we sing at the end of our prayer meetings on Wednesday morning, and I wish you God's deepest blessings in the singing together. Please don't leave me up here by myself <laughs> of this song, which you know well, and it's Amen. 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 